Hey guys, this is a video to show you the difference between Windows 7 that's coming out uh, sometime soon and operating system Windows Vista. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using VMware Fusion on the Mac in order to run Windows 7 and Windows Vista side by side. Um, so let's get started. So, like I said, I'm going to show you like the differences between Windows 7 and Windows Vista and what to expect. Uh, so I'm just going to go through really basic stuff that some people might know. And yeah, alright. Now, for Vista users, you already know everything about Vista. So the differences on Windows 7, pretty much, um, are the control options and a few new flashy features. First of all, the recycle bin on Windows Vista, you can delete. The recycle bin on Windows 7, you cannot delete. You can go to the control panel and you can delete it from there or take it off your desktop. Um, so that's an option that they put in because I know for when I use Vista, um, I accidentally delete my recycle bin a lot and I have to go back and put it back on there. Alright, now on Vista, there's a sidebar and you can click the thing and add gadgets. And you also can drag them to the side and do this. Alright. Now on Windows 7 it pretty much has the same thing, only it doesn't have the sidebar. You can put your gadgets wherever you want. Okay, so you have the currency and all this stuff. Instead of you have to click this little um, dot thing like on Vista, the gadgets you have to click this thing in order to move it. They made it so you can just click anywhere and just move them around. And they're a lot more easier to control than um, on Vista. But they pretty much basically have the same gadgets. Alright, now um, the next thing I'll show you is the taskbar. Windows Vista it has taskbar with the cutout um, icon thing for the start menu, and it's just real basic. You know, like every single Windows operating system on Windows Seven, the taskbar is a little different. You still have your start bar, which looks a lot like Vista, but then you have a different kind of system for icons on your start bar. Um, as you can see here I have my libraries folder. So I click on that and it shows me my documents, music, pictures, and videos. Now this is like a shortcut but if I want to get rid of it I just click unpin. And this is Windows Media Player and I can unpin that. But then I go and open up paint and when I minimize pane, it goes on the taskbar. And when I close it, it X's out like a normal taskbar, right? But if you open up paint and click on the icon, you can pin the program to the taskbar. So when you close the program, it's still going to be there as a shortcut. And you just click unpin to take it out. So that's uh, another feature that they have. Alright, and then on Vista, if you right click, you have to click personalize, and then you have all the options, the themes, mouse pointers, all that stuff. On Windows 7, they have three different things. They have the screen resolution, um, which allows you to change the screen resolution of Windows 7 um, very easily, and it'll help you detect and identify the right settings for you. It has the gadgets, which you've probably seen before, which allows you um, to go through your gadgets and just drag them onto your desktop and use them. And then it has the personalize. Now, by default, it goes on the themes um, menu. So you can change your background, your windows color, your sounds, and your screensaver. But on the side, you can um, 
change your icons, your mouse pointers, and your count picture very easily too. So they just made it a lot easier to get to those certain things without having to navigate through a whole bunch of crap. Um, the next thing that's pretty cool is like right here you don't want like some of these icons showing up or something like that. You don't want the window security alert. You right click, let's go properties, and then uh, there's a, let's go no, notification area and customize, and then you can hide whatever icons you want. But on Windows 7, you just click this arrow, customize, and then you're already at the control panel thing in order to hide these icons. Alright, and another cool feature that Vista does not have is you have open your calculator and paint, and if you have Internet Explorer open, and you want to see your desktop right away, you can click this little show desktop thing, and it minimizes everything right away. So that's another cool feature. Uh, so, there's just a lot of really small things that Windows 7 has that Vista doesn't. It's pretty much just taking Vista and they just fixed all the little errors and they added some new stuff. Um, they made it faster and all that. Um, different improvements, stuff like that. <clears throat> um, I know another feature that they add to Windows 7 is called Homebrew. It's kind of like an advanced form of file sharing on Windows computers. You can organize your pictures, your videos, your um, documents very easily with Homebrew on this like, program thing. Instead of having to have it all messy and all confusing, you can connect other computers and printers in your house very easily and very formally but still have a password to protect it. So that's another thing that Windows 7 has. Um, Windows 7 is currently in the beta version so you cannot buy it or purchase it. It is only for testing uh, so if you want to go ahead and test it pretty soon they will be releasing the official beta version that you can use. If you have any questions please message me I know this tutorial didn't show a lot about Windows 7, but there's really not much to show because it's pretty much like Vista only. Um, all the errors are fixed, like I said. Um, so thank you for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube.